Offering time, blessing time, the Lord is good, and all the time. Continue on generosity, cost of generosity. There's a cost to generosity which appeals to God. It involves depriving yourselves of some level of pleasure. It is the antidote of selfishness. Generosity is the antidote of selfishness. There are certain sacrifices that pleases God. Sacrifice of the lips, sacrifice of life, sacrifice of love, and sacrifice of wealth. In 2 Samuel chapter 24, verse 24, King David said this, Then the king said to Aruan, Aruna, no, but I will surely buy it from you for a price. Nor will I offer burnt offerings to the Lord my God with that which costs me nothing. So David bought the threshing floor and the oxen for 50 shekels of silver. You know, I was, uh, I was listening to something yesterday that this piece of land where David bought is where the temple is in Jerusalem. And nobody has paid for that place till this date. It belongs to King David. So it belongs to the children of Israel. But he said, with his lips he's offered a sacrifice. With his money, he said, I will not offer to God Something that does not cost me nothing. You know, the tithe belongs to God. The offerings is where your generosity comes into place. And that should cost you. Anybody bought new shoes? You go bought new shoes and go for a wedding? And you wore it for the first time? New shoes and go for a wedding? Oh, but people do it. That's how generosity, generosity feels. It pinches your toes. It pinches your heart. It has to cost you something to be generous. See, if once you are generous, you are denying yourself of something you could have used on yourself. Until you get to that point of being generous, you've not actually started sacrificing that pleases God. Offering time, blessing time, the Lord is good, and all the time is let's give generously because He loves a cheerful giver. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the opportunity to sail into your kingdom, being generous with what you've given to us, being generous with our lips to praise you, being generous with our life to honor you, being generous with our wealth to honor you above all else. Heavenly Father, we thank you and we bless your holy name. Accept what we've given in the name of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. And everybody says, Amen.